Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Sunset Paradise, Saturday Night Funkin', uh, episode 6 by Glitch. Now, I have not seen this, but, uh, you know, it's uh, Saturday Night Funkin' on a Friday, so of course they had to name it Saturday Night Funkin', because, you know, you know, uh, copyright. But, uh, yeah, honestly... This is a follow-up to the last episode where the funky, yeah, I think they're called the funky force or whatever, uh, brainwashed Meggy and, and that type thing, and now Ori has to, like, unbrainwash her type thing. My best guess is by the end of this, they're going to capture the funky force, and yeah, that's that's my prediction. Like, you know, Meggy's going to get out of the trance, and then they're going to capture the funky force. So that's my guess, and then... I don't know what the next four episodes will be. Well, I guess we'll see. But yeah, anyways, guys, uh, originally it's in the description, make sure to glitch and exhaust the description. Let's just get right into it. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, I'm close. Yeah, stays. Yeah. There, I got that, of course. Alright, so I guess it's gonna be the performance. Dang, lighting looks a little bit different from the last episode. Oh. Pump it up to the next level, my man. There's an evil out there, Maggie. You shouldn't they have the like eye open things? You know those like boots where they hold the eyes open. The evil at the performance tonight. Destroy evil, Ori and I will destroy them. No, no, the deputy only wants to stop you. He's evil, too. What? No, that's... Ori's good. He's one of the best people I ah! He's evil! He will protect the mayor, and so he must be destroyed, too! Destroy the evil! Destroy the evil! Oh, what the heck? Destroy the evil! Oh, yeah, watch. Shadow Maid? Okay, never mind. Don't yell at me, the bosses aren't even here yet. Wow, it's oh my god, it's the creators, guys. Look, it's the creators. Oh my god, I had no idea they were in the series. The fucking boss are in the house. But boss, didn't see you there. Don't just stand around, join the dance party. What? You want us to perform? Yes, we have a space for you. You can practice your routine outside. <laughs> Is this a big break? We won't let you down, boss. <laughs> Remember, the funky boss loves you! We... we love you too, sir! <laughs> and it's so nice to hear you say that for once. <laughs> Close. Close. You almost messed up there. Thank you, citizens of Port Aurora, for being here today for the performance of... The Funky Force! Funky Force, dingus! Before we begin, I just want to say a few Boo! words. Start the show! Oh, a mayor. Stop the show! Ah! Mr. Mayor, you're in great danger! I mean, what? I'm sorry, I skipped the rehearsal. Is this part of the show? Good people of Fort Aurora! Has your deputy in his mind cutie to warn you that the funky force? Oh, Nice transition line. Could have just walked away, kid. Now you get front row seats for what happens next. Keep them here. Hello, Port Aurora! As you know, we have a very special performer with us tonight. May I introduce the winner of our dance competition? Frankie, 
I'm so proud to be the Funky Forces' newest player! But first, I have a special heart-stopping performance for... Try now. Well, I'm sure we'd love okay. to see that. And since the town deputy is here too, why don't we let him sit in as well? You're up, girl. Knock him dead. Okay. DJ, spin that funky track. Okay, it's interesting, I guess. I'm just wondering where this goes. Destroy the evil, destroy the evil, destroy! What? Jeez. I like the animation and the movement. Dang, he's dodging everything. He's like Sans from Undertale. Mr. Mayor, I'm trying to tell you! This is not a performance! Your life is in danger! Jeez, none of the audience is like doing anything. Mr. Mayor, get behind me! But I can't see the show! Just get behind me! Yeah, she's resisting it. Focus, girl! Oh, they brainwash her with the music, of course. No choice but to face the music, huh? Okay. Well, partner. Well. Yeah, oh, of course you say that. Okay, I like the movement. I like how it's going with the music there. It's good. Oh, it didn't work there, buddy. Dang. I actually like that idea, but I feel like it's a little cliche. I feel like it's a little cliche. The whole, like, brainwashing trope. Alright. Mayor's safe and she's distracted. Time for the showstopper. Yeah, you forgot about them, dummy. Groovy people! This deputy is a traitor! One great big is a traitor among us? Stay put! We'll get you down later! Cause the Funky Force are your savior! Yeah. So, uh, they're just all doing the same an animation? <laughs> okay. I feel like I've seen this dance before. Okay. This bit's a little weird in my opinion. I don't know why. It's just like... That bit was a little weird. Okay, there we go. What? Wow, that was interesting. Dang, guess the audience is very transparent. Oh, geez. The decibels on that. Yeah. I really owe you on this one. Anytime, partner. Actually, you can pay me back right now by saving us from the homicidal supervillains. No one interrupts our show, kid. My friends, things are worse than we feared. Even this girl is working with a dastardly deputy to destroy the mayor and this show. What? No, that's not true. The Funky Force hypnotized me with funky rhythms. They're evil. Musical hypnotism? Who would even think yeah. of something that dumb? Okay. I believe the Funky Force. We should blame all this on those two. The boy locked my cart, and she conked me with telephone. 
both of them are evil. Okay, so they're both. I knew I shouldn't have started Free Torch Day. You can win the fight, kids, but you can't. Wow! Oh my God! It's like watching. It's like watching Animal Farm all again. I've seen this before, and it's not really interesting either. But okay. Where it's like all of them are against them because the masses are very, you know, yeah. Yeah, because of course they're swayed by them. Sir, mission accomplished. Yeah. Wow, took you guys long enough. <laughs> no wonder you couldn't cut at a superhero. You can't even frame a couple of kids. Well, I guess I'll they... take it from here now. <laughs> and you'll keep your end of the bargain? Oh, don't worry. Your friend's family will be well taken care of. They're not going to want for anything for the rest of their lives. Lost? Okay, it's about that character. <laughs> but they did frame kids. Have that back. No! The evil ones have stolen my dogs now, too! You might need a bigger cell there, deputy. I don't think this one can hold the whole town. Quiet, you! Just get back in the vacuum clean- Wait a second. Hey, who let you out? Well, she did. let's just say the deputy is not the only one with a supervisor. Well, well, well. We finally meet face to face. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. No, no, down here. Ori, is my brain still messed up or is that egg talking to us? No. That's an egg? I am not an egg! Good shot, goody one. Have a treat. Hello, deputy. Nice. My name's Benedict. Benedict? Cumbersnatch. You don't know me, but your family and I go way back. Pop up fishes! No! Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Nah. Uh, funnily enough, ashes are the reason I got into a scuffle with your grandfather 100 years ago as well. Because it's a hardboiled egg. You know who you are now? I've heard stories about you. Yeah, of course you have. The one that killed my pop up. <laughs> yeah. No. He is. He is. Watch, he is. I swear to God, if this does a whole Star Wars thing, or at least a reference, uh, yeah, it's going to. I'm betting it. Yes, that was me. But not before he managed to seal me inside this useless eggshell. Oh, never mind. But once I steal the ashes this time, I'll finally have the power to undo your grandfather's curse and return to my full glory. Wow, this came out of freaking random. <laughs> All right. It's trying at least. At least. I will say. Come on, time to boogie. Coming. Just have to lock up before we leave. Goonie. <laughs> Goonie too. Bring in the parting gift, would you? Oh dang. Okay. Goonie too. Okay. I like that fire animation. See you later, deputy. No, we won't, man. She's gonna die in like a minute. Hey guys, if you let it <laughs> true. Go, give you a full pardon on your crimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whisk, you said you don't want to be a criminal anymore, right? Well, start by letting us out of here. I am a criminal. You should know. You're the one who locked me up. <laughs> True. As much as but yeah, she's probably going to be the anti-hero. My best guess is that she's going to be the one that helps him either in the end. They're going to convince her later on, not now, but later probably. I'm afraid that our relationship, much like the two of you, is going to be rather short-lived. <laughs> Can't die here! Poor Aurora needs me! Step aside. I got this, Ori. Oh wow. Got them. Oh, it's gonna cut, I'm guessing. Ah, End of the video. Fireworks. Always a good way to start a festival. Drive safely.
And next episode. Yep, I was right. Okay. Honestly, eh. <laughs> That's all I could think of. Eh. Uh, I think this is a good startup, to be fair, for the climactic, I guess, four episodes. So, I yeah, I guess I could say that. This is meant to build the four final episodes, like, to start it. And it is an interesting start. I just feel like there's a ton of cliches, uh, you know, packed into this one. And it's it's try it's making me not as enjoy it as much. Because I feel like I, I could easily enjoy this one more. But I don't know. It's just like, it's just kind of hard to enjoy it. And also, I kind of see where this is going. But it is, I guess it is kind of cool. I didn't see the them framing them whole thing. You know, I, I mean, I, yeah. Well, I didn't expect them to actually get uh, escape or whatever and then all of them leave i didn't expect that at all i thought it was going to be like oh they capture the funky force and then they you know in the next episode but no i was wrong that's the only thing i didn't see coming i did see the whole like mass thing the masses thing as i said oh my god reminds me of animal farm and that was not good but uh yeah uh, overall i'd say this was passable I, I, I enjoyed it. The animation is probably my favorite part and definitely the music and also how the animation goes with the music. Uh, and yeah, I'd say that's probably the best part. The story of this one I just think is like, I think it sets up the final four episodes well, but it's like, as a standalone episode, I really don't think it's that great. I think it's very cliche and I don't know, I just, I didn't, I couldn't really enjoy it because of that. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the like, maybe subscribe to my channel. See you next one. Bye!